Here at the Provincial Archives of Alberta, we have a massive volume of archival records. In fact, if you took all of the boxes of records in our holdings and lay them flat end to end, there would be 55 kilometers worth. One thing to consider before getting started with archival research is that it differs greatly from library research. That's because each one of these records is unique. Sometimes finding the right information in 55 kilometers worth of records is like finding a needle in a stack of needles. But not to worry, we're here to help you discover your story in the archives. A little prep work goes a long way before you come in to make your visit at the PAA productive. So here are three tips on tackling your genealogical research. Tip number one, do some background research. Write down what you found and where you found it. Talk to family members about their recollections and look through any documents or photographs that you have access to. Gather as much information as you can before coming to the archives. This will help guide your search. Keep a log of any important dates associated with your ancestors. In particular, birth, marriage, divorce, and death dates. And write down the names of all the communities where they lived or may have traveled through. Legal land descriptions are helpful for homestead searches and rural areas, but we can help with pinning those down if they're not available in your family records. Don't filter anything out at this point. Take note of schools, sports teams, religious affiliations, and even hobbies. Using these tidbits of information, you'll be able to locate pertinent uh, land-related records, photographs, membership lists, meeting minutes, or newspaper clippings in the archives. For example, if you're looking for information about your great-grandfather and you know he was a criminal defense lawyer, your starting point at the PAA might be doing a newspaper search. Um, if you find clippings about his cases, you could expand to learn more about his life. Your grandmother, on the other hand, might have been a member of her church's women's group, so there might be mention of her in the meeting minutes. Tip number two, once you've talked to family members and reviewed your personal records, do a bit of research online. Birth, marriage, and death registrations, also known as vital statistics records, can help to fill in your family tree because they contain a good deal of contextual information. Did you know there are online vital statistics indexes or self-serve and available on the PAA website? There you will find the information needed to order print or digital copies. You can also view the originals here in the PAA reading room, free of charge. Please be aware that vital statistics records become public only after certain periods of time have lapsed. Those timelines can be found on our website at provincialarchives.alberta.ca. During your online research, remember that names sometimes change over time. This can be due to choice or because they've been recorded incorrectly. So keep an eye out for similar names or the anglicization of a name. Although I suggested noting dates, don't get stuck on them. Memory is fallible, so expand your research by three to five years forwards and backwards if you're not getting the results that you expect. There are a few other external websites that you might want to check out before coming to the PAA that can provide you with a great starting point. The first is the Alberta Genealogical Society's Homestead Index. If you don't know the legal land description of a homesteader, you can search this by name. There you'll find the film and file numbers you need to search the microfilm here at the PAA. You might also want to spend some time with the Library and Archives Canada website. There you'll be able to search censuses, Métis scrip applications, and residential school records. The PAA has copies of most of these files on microfilm, but not all. There are some records that you can only access through the Federal Archives. These include military records, immigration records, and some land records. Which brings me to my last tip. Try to determine who would have created records about your relatives. Looking to solve a family mystery? You might want to start your search at the PAA with court records. The PAA has probate and divorce records up until the 1970s for most Alberta judicial districts. Records from civil and criminal courts and the magistrates that presided can provide more detail about those murky details in your family history. Keep in mind that some court cases are sealed, such as adoption. Others might be retained with the courts for long periods of time, like 70 years. Church records can help fill in some gaps, particularly with early ancestors, whose births and deaths were less likely to be recorded by the government. The PAA holds the records of the United Church of Canada, the Anglican Church, and the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Canada, as well as the missionary oblates of Mary Immaculate. Indigenous genealogy in particular, 
um, can often be traced through the records of the missionary Oblates. The priests that ran these missions were meticulous note keepers. However, their records are often in French. It can help to bring someone who can read French um, to the PAA with you, but you can also take photographs of the records and translate them later. Google Translate works as well. Not to worry if you don't have much preliminary information to work with, it will just take some extra digging. Our archivists are here to help, and we know some great tips and tricks uh, to help you along. While you do your research at the Provincial Archives of Alberta, think about the storage techniques that you're using and how you're going to pass it down to future generations. Here at the Archive Shop, we sell a variety of products from storage boxes, to file folders, to buffer envelopes, white gloves, and larger storage for textiles and newspapers. It's important to organize as you go along and keep in mind the sorts of people that you want to be passing your research and your family gene genealogy down to. Uh, a great place to start if you're feeling a little intimidated is our genealogy starter kits, which come complete with everything you need to start off your research. And for more information, you can check out our genealogy starter kit video in the links below. At the Provincial Archives of Alberta, we provide a service to all of Alberta in helping aid their research and understanding of self. However, being located in central Alberta, it can be difficult for people outside of this area to come in and conduct their own research, especially since it can be an extensive process that can take longer than a weekend trip into Edmonton. Um, so we provide two different versions of private and homestead research for those exact needs. These are based on the numbers of hours that you decide that your contract researcher is to spend on a particular project. Uh, you can find the price listings and more information on our website, Provincial Archives of Alberta, or you can contact me, the Archives Retail Service Coordinator, for more information. Uh, we hope to hear from you soon. As you're doing your research, think about donating your records in the future to an archives. While extraordinary people are interesting to read about, what a lot of the time researchers are coming into the archives to figure out is what's at the heart of a community, which comes from the everyday citizen. We're always looking for donations uh, of things like journals and scrapbooks, photographs, letters and correspondence, sound bites, all sorts of different things. So if you're interested in pursuing donating your records or thinking about donating them in the future, give us a call and we'd be happy to direct you to an archivist who can help you along in that process.